Dan goes to the north of Prairie. Are there any unspoken prayer requests you can make them known by the raising of your hands? God will acknowledge. Let us all bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of grace to receive mercy in heaven. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, to wake up this morning and clothe in our right minds with a reasonable portion of our health and our strength. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for dying for the cross for our sins, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the water that is in your precious name, Lord, and the infinite of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for what you have done for us, Lord, and all that you're going to do for us. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for blessings, Lord, to come to this place of worship, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your presence that we feel right now in this sanctuary. And Lord, we ask, Lord, to for all these prayer requests that have been submitted before you, Lord. Touch and move in each and every one of them according to your will, Lord. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that you bless our hearts right now, Lord, to receive your word, Lord, that your word fall from good ground and take root in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
Man, look at somebody and say, you got a reason to live. Yeah. Amen. Come on, look at somebody and say that. You got a reason to live. You got something to live for. Man, so we're thankful. Amen. For the goodness of the Lord. Praise God. Go ahead and help us. Give God a praise. I just want to thank the Lord because he's a way maker. I know in the dark 
darkest times, we got to remember that He created the whole universe in right. darkness. Right. So even whenever you don't see anything, that is the perfect condition for God to make something happen in your life. Yeah. And so I am so thankful that He is a way maker. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Would you clap your hands up to the Lord? In fact, your praise is a testimony that he's made a way for you. Anybody he's made a way for, we can give him a good shout. Hallelujah. It's good that, that the lady whose baby had died, the young boy, and on, on her way to the preacher, Bishop, she said, all is well. Praise God. Sometimes you got to testify that everything is going to, come on somebody, look at somebody say, everything is going to be all right. Come on, look at somebody and encourage them. Everything, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost right there. Everything is going to be all right. Hallelujah. One more time, would you clap your hands? Would you lift your voice in a hallelujah? That's not just noise. That's the highest praise.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to invite your attention to Genesis 1 and 1 and Genesis 1 and 31. Amen. Amen. 
And uh, but it all came from an idea. Yes, and uh, after I learned a little bit about computers, I said that wasn't a bad idea. <laughs> Amen. It was easy to count for things. Amen. And, uh, I appreciate that that idea. And then cell phones. Yeah. Yeah. It amazes me that uh, we can uh, get on the cell phone and. I got a friend that's in Germany. I can call him on a cell phone and see him. And that really blew my mind to be able to do that. But where did the idea come from? Amen. Who gave man that idea? Praise God. And then that video chat, chat room. It's amazing how you can get people, 15 or even 100 people on a chat line and have a conversation with all of them. Uh, where did that idea come from? And here come the electric cars. Our car, as technology is becoming more advanced every day. I have a brother-in-law, I mean a son-in-law, and uh, he was against the Green Deal. Right. He was mad about the Green Deal. Amen. He had a suburban, and every time he went to the pump, he had to put a hundred dollars in. Mm -hmm. Well, he has been converted. <laughs> he went and brought him an electric car, and now. He waved at the gas station. And he could pound it up in his garage. He said, do you know how much money I'm saving? <laughs> Technology, where did that idea come from? Amen. I got a friend, another friend that's against the Green Deal. But he told me that he got a car that run by gas and electric and told me how many miles he get. <laughs> And he's against the Green Deal, but he's driving the Green Deal. <laughs> but where did the idea come from? Where did the idea come from? Praise God. But it's a shame that God doesn't get the praises. Right. Praise God. I got a son that started almost 14, 14 times. Amen. And all the companies made it. Yes. But where did you get the idea? Yes. Yes. Well, he read books. He meditated. He thought on what was needed in society. You see, the gas price was going up, and no one else come up with an idea. Right. But he wasn't the first to come up with that idea. Right. He was the one that made it happen. Right, Mark. Praise God. And now we see, amen, the car dealerships, they stock in a certain percent of electric cars. Yeah. And have you seen the electric trucks? That's impressive. Uh, you know who's investing in the electric, uh, electric cars and trucks? The oil companies. <laughs> they see the handwriting on the wall. Praise God. And I know there's a lot of folks don't want to thank God for the Green Deal, but I'm riding my vehicles with gas for a while. But I'm thinking about convert to the green people. You can clap your hands the Lord. Thank the Lord. Hallelujah. While genius minds continue to improve how we live uh -huh. and work, we must remember that even our ideas are not our own. That's right. 
Even our ideas, not our own. Now, you know what amazes me how, amen, you could build a building. Amen. In order to build a building, you have to have an idea. Right. Of what you want in the building. But yet at the same time, the people that build the building have to take the idea off of paper. Hello? It amazes me how each craft yes. can take the paper That's right. and read it and, read, amen. and build a building. But it all started with an idea. Yes, but the idea actually comes from God. Yes. Will you clap your hands and you work in There were they were placed in us when we were created in the image of God. That's right. Sister, that newspaper you wanted to do, that idea came from the Lord. That's right. When you asked me about it, what did I say? Do it. Let's thank the Lord for his goodness. Thank you. God is the ultimate. Creator. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Hello. Amen. In that kind of tendency, to take God's idea sometimes uh -huh. and bring sin into it. That's right. The adversary, we have to be wise and servant and humble as dumb and not become ignorant to the devices of the devil. In Genesis 1 and 1, the word created means brought into existence. Right. Our human minds can't comprehend that before God created the heavens and the earth, nothing existed. Right. Think about that. Nothing Amen. Existed. Nothing existed. I mean, nothing existed. Nothing existed. We got that, what you call a big mind theory. And it's idiots that believe in, believe in the big mind mind theory. Amen. Look at these two twins back, these <laughs> twins back there. Did that happen to a big mind? Did you know that your two feet you got ain't the same? No. Yeah, I didn't know that. No. You mean the big man caused all that? <laughs> oh my. Let's thank the Lord for his ideas. You know, I love spring. Because you get to see some beautiful flower. flower. Yes. Amen. I notice that in my house that these flowers are blossoming. And they, they just look so pretty. And especially when you take a picture of them. But where did the idea come? It came from God in creation. Yes. Can we take a moment just to thank the Lord for these ideas that we have? Come on, take the time and thank the Lord. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. God didn't create the universe out of something. He created everything out of nothing. He created everything out of nothing. Throughout creation, we see God's nature. That's right. Do you know that the Lord has given you 
stability will be powerful. Yes. How did you take you to this high school? How did you think you made it through college? It started with what? An idea. Will you clap your hand on the floor? It started with an idea. All powerful. He's powerful. God only needs to speak to bring the world into existence. This world came into existence simply by the Lord speaking in the mind of God. Creation was in his mind. In the mind of God, Brother Rhodes came into existence. Praise the Lord for that, for Brother Rhodes coming into existence. Amen. Praise the Lord for your neighbor coming into existence. Hallelujah. Come on, praise him and thank the Lord for his name. Praise the Lord for Sister Marley over there coming into existence. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, we fail to give God the credit that you do this. That's right. That's true. Praise God. While I was in town, Florida, we stayed in this little, uh, this little house. Oh, it was nice. It had marble floors, nice dining room, and kitchen. And uh, I choose, chose a, a room. And oh, the room looked nice and everything. But it had one of them beds that were all the way on the floor. Oh, Lord. I thank God for the idea of making higher beds. <laughs> we thank the head of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, the whole time I had to struggle to get up off the floor. Oh. And I had to come up with an idea how to get up. And that idea came from the Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Let's thank the Lord. He's a God of order. He just right. He just didn't create the world to walk away. Right. This world that we live in is spinning on an axle. And it hadn't had an accident yet. You know why? Because the Lord is holding this world in his hand. We thank the Lord for that hour. He has remained involved in every aspect, including in our lives. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Well, CJ, for help me out. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm going to bless you with some gas money. Hallelujah. Well, I know who to turn to when I need help. And it all starts with an idea. Yeah. Will you clap in? <laughs> The best idea that ever happened to me that I discovered that I needed Jesus more than Amen. ever. Amen. Amen. You, know? Yes. you know, we all like a, a deal, don't we? Amen. I don't know what would happen if they close all the dollar stores. Well. Folks would have to cold turkey. Well, let me tell you something. The best deal that you can ever enter into is a deal with the Lord. It's better than Walmart. It's better than the dollar store. 
is better than Macy's? Yes, sir. Is he better than the PX Exchange? We thank the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, in the Bible, we read about people who had little or nothing to offer God. Let me tell you something about the early church. The early church came into existence with a lot of poor folk. They didn't have much to offer to the Lord. In the Pentecost, in the early 1900s, when God began to pour out the Spirit upon all flesh, Praise God. I thank the Lord for that Zeus Street meeting. Me too. Amen. Hello. And majority of the people that received the Holy Ghost in the Zeus Street didn't have much to offer. Right. But I tell you what, you walk around in some of our churches, you can find businessmen. Even millionaires. Hello? They started out with nothing to offer. The only thing they had to offer, they surrendered their lives to him. And he used them in an incredible way. Simply by surrendering to the Lord. Revival at New Bad Birth Tabernacle. I wrote this note out of nothing. Amen. Out of nothing. Hello? Oh, yeah, the Lord could use us. Pass out a few tracks, witness to folk, invite them. But the bottom line is when God moves, most of the time, you haven't touched it. Because yeah. <laughs> God can bring revival to a church out of nothing. Yes, Amen. All he has to do is simply thank it. Revival for new birth. Amen. And guess what happened? People come from the east, the west, the south, and the north. Praise the Lord. I'm expecting a great revival. We're not being in the world. We were created in the image of God. Amen. And only God has the ability to change and mold us into his image. Sometimes we have a tendency to give new people that come to church hard times. Right. Let me tell you something. Those of us been in the church a while, the Lord has some time to mold us. That's right. Yes, sir. True. Yes, sir. And it takes time for the Lord to mold every new saint. Yeah. It takes time. You see, in the process of being mold by the Lord, we begin to give some things up. But it all comes from an idea. Yes, sir. You know where the idea comes from? Reading your Bible. Yes, sir. You know where I discovered that I need to paint my eyes? The idea was in the Word of God. Right. You know what the idea told me? Said if I pay my tithes, that the Lord will bless the 90% that I have left. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> I haven't been broke since. Right. Amen. And I don't mind giving to the Lord. We well, thank the Lord for that hallelujah. <laughs> yes. The process began when we give everything back to the one who created us in the first place. Let 
said again, the process began when we give everything back to the one who created us in the first place. Would you stand? And the sound of my voice, the reason that you're here even tonight, you started with an idea. Oh, an idea. I'm not boasting on this, but I'm going to share something with you. Thank you. 
Make sure you wash your hands when you get done, okay? Thank you for asking. 